Yeah, hi viewers. I recently purchased on Flea Bay a Philips SL Prismatic CFL lamp and it's a new old stock. But unfortunately, when I received it, the postage mob had rough handled this thing, so it didn't survive the postage very well. So, yes, it's got knocked around. A bit loose in there, and the outer glass case is also uh, cracked. So, this one sadly is dead. Apart from that, it would have been in perfect condition had it survived. Yeah, this is what. It should like should uh, look like this is an old one I've got. This one's uh, started to age a bit, but it's had a fair bit of use. So I was hoping to get a nice clean one for the collection. Just put in my jury rig connector. So there it goes. That's the, that's the old one. Yeah, these take a little while to run up to full brightness. Well, for a bit of fun, we'll, we'll just test this other one and see what happens. Well, try to work, but it ain't going to go, it's just the cathodes heating up. I think it's time to open this lamp up and have a look inside to see how these are made. Right, I will perform an autopsy on this lamp. Best way to describe these is they are the first generation CFL lamps, 1980s, made by Philips. They may use a mag magnetic ballast. And uh, they're quite heavy and they're pretty hard to come by these days. Oh, this could end rather badly because the heavy construction and the actual glass envelope is was well, actually glass, not plastic. So, so I've got to be careful not to shatter this stupid thing. All right, I'll just pause this camera and tackle it another way. Right, oh, back again, viewers. So I just uh, used a belt sander. Just 
cut through the plastic around the base of the glass so hopefully it'll just peel off so here we go very well made at least a seriously impressive lamp so here we are now the glass envelope is off Sadly, big crack through this one. Okay, we we'll have a look at the internal structure. So, here's the actual magnetic ballast in here connected to your uh, form tube and buried in here would be the starter somewhere well maybe we will re-energize this unit and see what happens Well, there it goes, folks. The cathodes have popped. Oh, well, thanks for watching. And I'll do another video very soon, I hope, and I'll see if I can convert this lamp in uh, with another fluoro tube. I'll salvage one from another lamp and see if I can just make this thing work with a sort of Frankenstein sort of lamp, I reckon. Alright, take care and we'll catch you all next time.